less than 24 hours later, mm -hmm. there's a brand new head coach for the New England Patriots. Obviously, he's a one-time Super Bowl champion. Didn't yep. get a chance playing that game because he was injured. But an absolute dog for the New England Patriots as a player. Then he retired for a couple years. Then he came back mm -hmm. to coach for the New England Patriots. Has been there ever since. Ladies and gentlemen, Jarrell Mayo is Mayo's now the head coach. Yeah. It's former player, Woo. obviously. I'm pumped up about that. Every former player is pumped up about that. We've heard numerous free agents now allegedly go on the record and say, since Mayo's coming back, they want to come back to New England. This is a legitimacy, just complete baton passover, seems mm -hmm. like, is how everybody's viewing this. Con man, I know yesterday was a rough one. It was. It was. I know yesterday was emotional. Mm -hmm. Sure. I know you watched a lot of those sad song tribute yeah, videos mm -hmm. that were making their way around the internet. Hell, I even got choked up watching them. I and I'm not. from Pittsburgh mm -hmm. and played for the Colts. So I couldn't even fathom what you were going through. But now that we got the next one, the promised prince, if you will. That's right. Yeah. Gerard Mayo is now your head coach. How do you feel as a Patriot? Fan? Fantastic. And you mentioned the sad videos. I watched them right before the show. I, I, you know, I'm not right just, before the show. I, I'm mm -hmm. not just going to leave Smart. Bill in the dust. It's been a long week. It has been a long <laughs> week. But you know, sometimes you need those emotions. It was nice to to feel that nostalgia, if you will, with Bill. And you know, I'll love him forever, no matter what. But looking forward, I mean, this Gerard Mayo thing has got me completely rejuiced. I would say second wind, but this itself probably counts for eight to ten <laughs> wins, if you will in my sales. Uh, first black head coach in New England. Love that. And when you just think about the entire succession plan from a zoomed out view a little, guy started coaching in 2019. It's 2024. And the fact that Bill Belichick and Gerard Mayo last summer made their contracts so that you know, they were both two-year deals, so the plan was that the succession would happen after the 2024 season. Obviously, you go 4-13, and 13, that's going to expedite some things. But the fact that Bill Belichick knew, hey, this is the guy, and the fact that he was only coaching for four years and they still feel that confident in who he is as a coach, that makes me feel even better. You mentioned the free agent. Mark Daniels reported that he spoke to a free agent for the Patriots, and it wasn't part of his plan before. But now that Gerard Mayo is the head coach, it is the number one priority to return to the Patriots. Now, is that Jalen Rieger? Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully it's Kyle Duggar and Josh Uche and Mike Onwenu and some of the guys that we do kind of need, need to re-sign to kind of keep that team together. But like you said, too, he won a Super Bowl in 2014, didn't play. So you got to assume that fire still burns. He was part of the teams from 2008 to 2015 where they only did win that one Super Bowl. Well, that was part of the era Ninkovich mentioned yesterday for that 04 to 2014 where they had so many great teams, 18 and one team, but they didn't win those Super Bowls. So that part of it makes me juiced up, too, because he knows what it was like in that era, in the most dominant era that the Patriots— How was he as a player? As a player, uh, let me think, in his first five seasons, he had uh, 657 tackles. In one year, he had 175 tackles with 110 solo tackles. In one year, he was the defensive rookie of the year. His rookie Here year. Here he is picking off Orlovsky. I was there for this. Jeff Saturday's on the field. He was not thrilled about Bang. that. Bang. That's AP, by the way. That's not just some schlub bone. That's Diane Gonzalez. Oh, what's up? Who's Dennis that? Pitta. Dennis, Dennis Pitta. 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 Dog. Pitta. Fitz Magic, sorry about it. Oh, Peyton Manning. I wonder how he played against him. Vonta, who's that? Oh, that's I thought it was Vonta Leach. I was like, he probably ate leeches <laughs> once, No, but they too. didn't show the Peyton Manning highlight I no, did see. Did. Yeah. Wow. They, 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 well, they, you know how the That'll NFL be. is. They don't want to bury one of their founding father's sons. Uh, but still, doesn't matter. I mean, look at that. Bang! Sorry. Same one from Pitta. Looks even better in that one. Sanchez, dead. It, it, it's amazing. Like, that guy being the head coach, obviously when Vrabel was announced, I was juiced up. Mostly because of the fact that if it wasn't Vrabel, it was Mayo. Like, or if it wasn't Vrabel, or if it wasn't Mayo, it was Vrabel. So like that aspect of it in the moment on Tuesday still holds true. But I said to you yesterday in the Hawk House, I was like, hey, I'm just as pumped for Gerard Mayo to be the head coach as I am for Mike Vrabel. And the fact that we're here too, just a day later, makes me feel great because something I mentioned yesterday was the twilight zone of not having a leader, a CEO of your team. That was weird just to experience. I like the way the Crafts handled this quickly. Yes, like, yeah. Like, we don't need to be a team that is without a leader for a while. No. So I think this move solidifies the fact that I think he's a brilliant businessman yep. and genius owner and everything like that for the success that they've had. But also it makes me think about the McDaniel situation. Mm-hmm. 
Sure. Because remember, McDaniels, years back, he was the successor. Mm -hmm. That was the conversation. That's why whenever he took the coach job, allegedly turned the plane back around, mm -hmm. went back to New England. It's known that he's the successor. I wonder how long they've had the succession thing in contracts for people. And then when McDaniels goes and be the head coach for the Raiders, it's like, all right, we need to find new succession person. It's going to be Gerard Mayo becomes that person. It's like, I wonder when and how and why don't others – tried to duplicate this entire thing. Yeah, so there are four teams that have done this before, not just with head coaches. I think it was one head coach, three GMs, where that succession plan was written into the contract so that, I mean, granted, the rules changed as far as timing goes as hiring coaches, but because yeah, of Yeah, but that, with Rooney rule. Rooney rule, right. said it. I yeah. mean, he's, 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 he's a block man. Yeah, yeah. which, again... Which probably, New England... Huh. Yeah, uh, definitely. Re what a perfect part of yeah. the country mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to get to experience this on a big scale. I think I think New England's ready for it. New England's it's right. 2024. Bingo, bingo. It is a new era in, in New England, and I think a lot of people. Everybody pumped. was pumped about Mayo. A a everyone was pumped about P Mayo. Even the people who wanted Vrabel were still like, I, I like the fact that they had this plan, like you mentioned, that Bob Kraft knew going in that this was going to be the deal. And some people are worried about the fact, hey, why would you fire Bill Belichick and then hire a guy? from the Bill Belichick tree, because how, how is anything going to change? Ugh. A lot of people who have been inside the building for, obviously, years, Tommy Curran being one of them, Phil Perry, his guy being one of them, they have talked about how, like, this isn't going to be just Bill Belichick 2.0. Like, Gerard Mayo is a completely different person. He, he's not going to, you know, act the way Bill has acted, which, you know, which is great no matter what. I think New England loved the way Bill acted, and I think they are very open to a more maybe transparent, if you will, coach, pending how transparent Gerard Mayo will actually be. But I just think it's a home run. The fact that they already knew and that he's the guy, I think everybody is happy. Feels brilliant, feels smooth. Yeah. Uh, legitimately. For how smooth it – the smoothest it possibly could be. Yeah. Bingo. Whenever you're moving on from a head coach – GM that's the greatest of all time. Still have the GM role open. Be excited mm -hmm. to see what they do. Are they going to hire within? We shall see. It feels like that's the craft move. What were we going to say to it's, it's awesome for the Patriots to get the prince that was promised. But he, he said something that was in there that was interesting to me is they, after the 2024 season, this was supposed to happen mm -hmm. uh, according to the contract. So did Bill think he was going to get the record this, yes. this season oh, yeah. and next season yeah. and then was going to retire? And what does that do? Like if he, if last year if next year was going to be his last year, he was just going to get the record. This is like an Aaron Rodgers going to the Jets situation. Mm -hmm. Remember, he was going to go to the Jets for one year. When he yeah. gets there, yeah. I like his son. I don't. I can be shirtless on the patio more. <laughs> yeah. It's nice. You know what I mean? I could only be in Nantucket for what four days. Uh -huh. That's I only it. get a chance to get any vitamin D. Maybe he goes to L.A. Yeah, Dallas. Yeah, yeah. L.A. would be Carolina. Awesome. What? Ooh. Las Vegas, Antonio Pierce is interviewing with uh, Titans. Tennessee mm -hmm. Titans, which is wild. Amy Strong says she wants to get to the front of the line. She does. Right. Yeah, I don't want to train, but I don't want to. I don't want to waste any time here. Trades are hard. Well, what's Strong doing, too, now? Where Vrabel's not the head coach of the Patriots. It's like, oh, shit. He, he was never going to coach there. Why, why did we, we get... fire him because of that? <laughs> oh, wait. Well, you got upset about that. He was what, what are we... good about He what? was allegedly not denying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Right, and that, what was that, that the, the reports were she was very upset with the fact that he was yes not denying the rumors that he might coach and in New England. Alleged, it's all alleged. <laughs> and Allegedly. saying too many good things about the organization that he played for and put him into the Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame. Uh -huh. Yeah, Hall yeah. Fame. That speech a little bit too happy giving that speech. Yeah. yeah why'd you say we? And why'd you keep saying that it's not like this other places? You talk about huh? talking about me. You talking about. <laughs> You talking about Amy Strunk? Yeah. Uh -huh. Here's his speech that he gave Michael Vrabel whenever he went into the Patriots Hall of Fame in the middle of the season last year while still being the head coach of the Tennessee Titans. Wait. Come on, we got a game to win. I can't wait, be up wait. here that long. We got a game to win. Oh, yeah. I don't think they did. Did they? Uh, Probably not. I want to thank no, that's the Buffalo. Fans. We did. I, I, we beat I Buffalo. Haven't been back as much as I should <laughs> yeah. since 2009, but I want to thank the fans. I want to thank the fans. Yeah, Kiesel, right? that made sweet Brett Kiesel jersey in the back. Unbelievably special. When we traveled, you were there. When we were here, you were there. Right. I can imagine how you screamed and yelled at the night games on third down and when you threw the snow. And, and every memory that comes back right now. So I want to thank you, fans, okay, for the opportunity to stand here today in front of you. Also in front of my Chills. teammates, I want to thank them. I want to recognize Logan Makins, Bill Parcells, Dante Scarnecchia, who, who was one of the toughest assistant coaches I've ever been a part of in 25 years of the National Football League. 
But I also want you not to take this organization for granted. Mm -mm. I've been a lot of places. This is a special place with great leadership, Stud. great fans, great direction, great coaching. Enjoy it. It's not like this everywhere. Thank you very much.